But why don't you start off with um, your main takeaways from the book, the characteristics of these outsider CEOs that basically uh, all of them had in common? Sure. So, I mean, all of them kind of understood that the CEO has two roles, which is capital allocation and uh, they have to manage operations, but they have to do it. The main focus of the CEO should be that they need to allocate the capital, the money, that the cash that the company is generating. Uh, the second thing is that their interests are always aligned with shareholders. Um, the third thing is that they prefer to run a decentralized operation. So we saw that with Teledyne. We see that today with Berkshire Hathaway, where it's very few people at headquarters managing, like, I don't know, 400,000 people across the world. Um, all these CEOs focused on cash. They focused on cash flows. And um, the fifth point is that these CEOs were frugal. And we saw that primarily with Tom Murphy. So... That's the person who kind of stands out when you talk about frugality. Yeah, um, and we'll this start is with like him. something that I saw with all these CEOs. What yeah, about you? Well, um, some things that come to mind when you say focus on cash. I think what we're meaning there's the focus on cash flow. Cash right. flow is the goal as opposed to cash reported returns, yeah. net income. Yeah. Um, some things that come to mind. The biggest thing that comes to mind for me is buybacks. Um, it doesn't mean that every quarter, every year, you buy back stock like a lot of these corporations do now, but uh buybacks that are at opportune times that are uh at times when the when the stock is cheap basically uh and even though buffett until recent years really hadn't bought back uh berkshire hathaway mm -hmm. he invested in companies that bought back a lot of stock so i also put him in in that bucket um and then time management the way these guys and and um catherine graham the way they looked at their time and their time was spent on allocating capital as opposed to like in the weeds uh, operations that, that had a big uh, influence on me. And then the third thing was the importance of getting high rates of return on that allocated capital. Right. There's a, there's a book uh, hundred baggers by, I think it's Chris Meyer or Chris Mayer another book we're going to read here. Um, I had never, I, I, when I read that a few years ago, I had always been thinking about, oh, this business has a cheap PE. What if the PE goes up? And just was thinking in a very elementary way. What I had never realized until that book was that real long-term stock returns are driven by what management does with that free cash flow. And if they allocate those retained earnings at 20%, over the long run, you're going to have a business, if they're able to keep doing it, that returns 20%. Um, and so I never really figured that out until that book. And then once you listen to this book, after having read Hunter Baggers, you're like, oh, that's why all these businesses went up 40, 80, 10,000 times, uh, because they were able to compound capital over and over and over for a super long runway. So just like investors like us, we look at our portfolio and we're like, hmm, if I'm able to compound capital at 15% over 40 years, what would that turn into? That's why the stocks of these businesses went up 40, 80, 10,000 times because they allocated capital at those, those high rates. So the importance of allocating capital um, was, uh, was my third big takeaway. So let's...